Welcome everybody to Gage Plays Outlast. Now, I'm pretty lucky that I avoided everything on this game even though it's like super hyped up, so let's check it out. Yeah. See, I don't want to look like a bitch, but I do not want to look like I'm right. You know what? Fuck it. Bitch mode. Okay. That's... Cool. You are miles up short. An investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the deep, the dark secrets at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You're not a fighter. To investigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Cool. Sounds like a standard horror game. Standard horror game where you gotta run and stuff. It's cool. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said that changing weather patterns were to blame for the livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend's seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may see some low flying helicopters near Silverthorne and Lex. Seems the Arrow Battle Park services may be spraying for an infestation of box elephants. But do keep all that in just an hour between the hours of 10 and 3. September 17th, 2013, from this email, and miles up, two miles up shore at gmail.com. That's boring, but professional, because everybody says professional is awesome, right? TIP slash illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. It might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive, which is kind of a shitty name. All sorts of NDAs. I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt at me, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Period. That's cool. Battery. And a nice camera. Cool. Buddy, it's not too late to just get back in your car and go out of here. Not too late. <sighs> I guess it's too late now. You know, I'm a pretty tall guy. My head is hitting the ceiling right now. I am so tall. I like my jacket. My jacket is so cool. Oh, there's nothing in there. Time to go this way. To the 
this place. Opening the door quickly. Okay. 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 Look at this place. Oh god, no. I have some good handwriting, man. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. In, in 2009, under the guise or geese or good so whatever you guys know that word, of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. A mile out? Miles of emo. No, stop. More like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity. <sighs> but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place was too big. What like, has to be too big might finally be the story that breaks these bastards. You're a cool guy. Asylum. Alright. Uh, that's his. That's the first floor. Second floor, third floor. No. cool that there's a you know what I'm just gonna right. now I'm gonna record this place and this massive bowl that somehow happened here I mean I'm not gonna question it too long. come on oh lock gotta go gotta go Go home to my family that needs me, that cares about me oh so much. <sighs> oh, that's cool. One window. That I gotta go up to. <sighs> this, it's almost as if somebody built this thing for me to go up there. Ew, no, no, I don't like that. Ambiance. <laughs> Ambiance is mean. <coughs> to beat those guys up. To beat them all up. Like, so easy. Ugh. Stop it, Ambiance. Alright.
biscuits. Not one bit. Okay, battery. Psychiatric Systems, Project Walrath, Mount Massive Co. Case number 174. Patient initials WPH. Billy. Billy? That's cool. That's a great name for project. Consultion dated 2012-10-14. Initial date of patient consult 2009 4 12. Patient age 19, gender male, observing physician 50. Physician. Physician. I don't know how to pronounce stuff, you guys, sorry. Dr. Carl Houston. DN, DBN on it. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progress to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale continuing stage four hormone schedule diagnostics spirometry spirom spirometry revealed no bronch bronch bronchial accumulation hermit hematoric you know what guys this is great i'm learning new words every day hemator hematocrit Hematocrit, centrifuge again failed to separate. Doctor word, highly worrisome. MRI revealed a rhythmic REM slash NREM cycle. Laughter and NRM NREM cycle. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's uh, lawsuit against Murkoff and the uh, asylum. This represents a catastrophic, catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he had discovered the truth in, quote unquote, the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Nope, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All ordeals and Security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Project Wallrider, Massive, Mount Massive Co. That's cool. I'm guessing this guy's dead. This place looks cool. You know what? Time of the month! <laughs> Avoid contamination, wash your hands, please. No problem. No, I won't do that. Is that a worm? How is that? Ew, gross. Is that Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't want to get you that. This way, 
to the library. So I'm guessing that was Mount Massive before shit got real. Because it looks like shit got incredibly real. Little fake. <laughs> 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 Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Murkoff Corpse. Mm, United States Office Warrant for Seizure, case number 29475-8104. And the matter of the seizure of s colon Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 1112. Affidative. Affidative. Z having been made before the border board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who has reasons to believe catastrophic catastrophic security failure of psychiatric systems, psychiatric center with Im imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the and testimony established sufficient 
evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and sur any surviving relatives surrender all claims of legit lit litigation against the Murkoff Corpse or its subsid subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions regardless of their responsibility. That's cool. <laughs> At least you didn't get thrown out of the window and molested by the priest. Oh, you got your head chopped off. Who covers these things? Somebody must have the time of their life in here. Hmm. Bloody wheelchair. That's gonna cost all this light. <laughs> You're twitching. You're alive. Alright. <clears throat> Bloody staircase or clean hallway. 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 Go in there. He looks so angry. So angry. So angry. Uh, buddy, I'm sorry. Maybe he just left from killing me just now. Hey, he's pretty fucked up right now. Alright. Jay. Helen Grant. Two group. 8416 at Murkoff Corporation. LU. Subject Project Wall Rider on Site Inspection. Dear Sirs, the full report pending on immediate action. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. Staggeringly high. The four, the four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any legit litigation if evidence is correctly managed impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will be there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, the family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly, vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increased as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued, and continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grant, Murkoff Legal Mid Mitigation Department. That sucks. Sorry, Helen. That's that's.
That's not helping. Let's use the right chest in. Okay. Oh, I have to go in there, don't I? Please tell me it's locked. Thank God. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to pay for it? I don't like that. I don't like that. Kill us for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. I don't like that. Not one bit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't talk to yourself. Why did I have to slam the door so hard? Oh, it was in our entrance right here. It's the same room I was in. Uh, okay. I think it's gotta go through here. Thank the Lord. Come here. Right. Oh, I have to come around this way and inspect my buddy over here. Do you have a key card? Thank you so much. I did not close that door. I close that door. Oh. Do you have a key card? I wish you had a key card. I guess I gotta go down those stairs. Okay. Maybe this guy has a key card. Do you have a key card? Oh. Nope. I'm already beat all to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. A couple of cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. It's like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. Wake up in some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me an apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that 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 the priest is writing them for my benefit. Thanks, priest. You're the best. You're the coolest ever. I'm glad that you're holding the witness. And that I'm your apostle. Did I come down? guy did it. No, not that guy. That guy. Am I kicking doors? Okay. Maybe the key card is in here. And I just missed it. Do you have a key card, buddy? Uh, oh. I guess since nobody there's no key card anywhere. I gotta go out and leave. I gotta go out and leave. I saw you go in there, man. What if it's on the floor? Okay, I got no key card. And I'm probably super dumb because I missed it somewhere. no mop, so I can't clean up this mess. Why are people... What's with people's fetish and just... 
shoving his hands in the freaking toilet. It probably is in here. It's just a mistake. Gotta check out these guys again. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'm really dumb, aren't I? And I just can't see. It's probably right in my face a couple times. I shouldn't be lost this early in the game. This is depressing. Where is it? Where is the key card? I am so dumb, so, so dumb. Maybe this guy. No, there's no guy. Maybe I gotta go through that door. I came to it already. Came to it already. Talked to it. You know what, priest? If you wanted me to do this shit for you, you might as well have given me a. Oh. This isn't good. I don't like how this door is open. Ominous. Um, oh man. This atmosphere is not my favorite. Okay. Just don't touch me, okay? I don't, I don't like to be touched. As you can see, I'm a very well-dressed man. I'm just gonna walk by you. Okay, see you later. You know what? You need a friend. You okay? I'm very upset. You want a present? I mean, it's not Christmas time. You'll be fine. Nobody seems to be fine with you. Oh, buddy. a dead channel they look like patients they survive whatever happened here but nobody's home <laughs> oh, I think I already read this I don't think I read this but we were able to look past this are amazing people doing jobs for me. That would be the ID. The card that I need. And you're dead. Somebody's gonna chase me at some 
why this guy slams his fucking doors. Why would I have to do that? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Is there someone behind me? Just stay in here the whole time. Look, I got everything that I need to see right here. This is all proof that bad shit happened here. Why do I have to go deeper? Okay? Why? Oh, there's a high option. Fucking guy, thank you. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker. Ex military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. You kill a lot of people. <laughs> That's what makes you cool, right? Well, I'm gonna end this episode with a lot of Locker. <laughs> this was part one of my thing. Hope you guys stick around for part two. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. See you later.